Hello everyone, welcome to my project ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make an Arduino keyless two lock system using keypad and LCD. So let us begin. So for this, first of all we need one Arduino Uno, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, one servo, one keypad, two LEDs, three resistors and some connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all let us see how to connect this keypad. So we will connect the first row of it to the zero number pin of this Arduino and the second row to the third column to this one to six pin of this Arduino respectively. Now let us see how to connect the LEDs. Now to connect the LEDs we will connect the anode terminal of this LED to this A1 and A0 pin of this Arduino and the cathode terminal of each LED will be connected to this resistor and the second terminal of it will be connected to this GND pin of this Arduino. Now let us see how to connect this servo. So this is a micro servo. It, will be, it has three terminals. So first is the grounding that will be connecting to the GND pin of this Arduino. The second one is the power terminal that will be connecting to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino. And the third one is the signal terminal that will be connecting to the 7 number pin of this Arduino. This will be used for lock purpose. It will act as a lock. Now let us see how to connect this LCD screen. So over here we will be connecting this ground terminal to GND pin of this Arduino. Power terminal to the 5 volt pin of this Arduino. And the contrast terminal to again this GND pin of this Arduino. After it we will connect this register select pin of this LCD to the state number pin of this Arduino again read and write to the GND pin of this Arduino enable pin of it to this 9 number pin of this Arduino and we will connect the LED anode to 5 volt pin of this Arduino and LED cathode through this, through this resistor to GND pin of this Arduino and this DB4 to DB7 pin to the 9 to 13 pin number of this Arduino respectively. So in this way our circuit is ready. Now let us see how actually the code will work. So this is our code. Over here first of all we have included three libraries. These are the header files. Liquid crystal is used for LCD, keypad is for the keypad and server is for the micro servo. So over here we have initialized C variables. First one is the servo state. That whether the state is if it is if it will be open, then it will be zero as as it will be one. And we have initialized two variables. For open it will be at zero degrees and for close 90. And in teachers we have declared this value. After it we have used four variables a b c d and initialize them to zero this will be using for the to store the password the keys that will be entered and this is the simple variable that we will be using in the function after it we have initialized four variables c1 to c4 to 1 to 4 respectively this is nothing but this keypad values that uh, c represents the column and F, this is the asterisk that we'll be using to store uh, to, to show the password. Now we have initialized rows and columns. I will be using the four rows of this and only three columns. We will, uh, we will not be using this A, B, C, D. Now over here we have declared an array keypad, keypad having these rows and these columns. As you can see, this represents similarly to this keypad. After it, what we are doing is we are simply we have pinned this uh, to the Arduino. So this represents that which keypad is pinned to which pin of the Arduino. After it, we have declared one variable log, and it is of this servo class, and the keypad is of keypad class, and LCD is of liquid crystal. So now in this void setup function what we are doing is we are bending this LCD from 16 represents the columns and the 2 represents the rows and after it we have configured the pin number A0 and E1 for the output purpose and this Arduino as you can see over here E1 and A0 and these are the two LEDs connected to it. 
after it there is a lock attached 7 7 represents a pin number that to which we have attached this micro servo and first of all we are writing as a close over here you can see close that is 90 so first of all whenever we will start it it will be at 90 degrees and we are representing the state as 1 now in this white loop function what we are doing is we are taking the key using this keypad using this get key function and now if the key will be entered we will use the set cursor function and print the key using this asterisk as you can see over here we have declared the f for asterisk it is nothing but a star so that to maintain the pri privacy and confidentiality of the password now using the switch keys we are taking the variable that we will be our input of this password and we will just convert this key and we will store it to this a b c and d variables respectively that before we have initialized them to zero now after storing them after storing the key in these variables we will check that whether these keys that we have entered are matching to this or not as over here you can see this is a c1 these are the variables it is nothing but a password it is one two three four that we have initialized and now if the key that we have entered it matches with password then we are printing welcome human using the set cursor function in the lc and we are opening the log by using this function in the same way as you can see a0 high this is the a0 and we have connect this we have connected this green led with this a0 pin so we'll glow this green led for one second this is the delay function it will take time in milliseconds so 1000 millisecond equals to one second and we will make it low after afterwards and else if this key will not be this then we will print incorrect password and the red LED will glow. After it will the clear screen and again enter password will be printed. So in this way our code is there. Now let us see how actually it will work. So for it I am clicking in the start simulation. As you can see I have clicked in start simulation. The servo motor is rotating to 90 degrees centigrade. And the LCD screen is showing enter password. So first of all, let us enter some incorrect passwords so for it. I'm entering 8908 as you can uh, see incorrect passwords and the servo motor has not changed its access. So now I'm again entering the password. This time I'm entering the correct password. So it is one, two, three and four. And you can see servo motor has also rotated and it has shown, it has shown welcome human. So in this way it will go. Thank you.